So folks, I must feel like starting to sing Tonight's the Night by Rod Stewart. Uh, but it's my son who's got the good voice. I might scare you away, so we'll stick to the facts here. Yes, folks, tonight is the first night we will have a public hearing on live TV about the attempted coup, the sedition and treason, the murder of a police officer, an attack on others that occurred on January 6th to the glee of Donald Trump, who that day, and you should never forget this, told Mark Meadows, as others have testified to, that he hoped that his vice president would be publicly hanged. Um, what do we expect to see tonight? There's six hearings that are scheduled overall. I implore you Democrats to make that 12 or 18 or 24. We should be having all of these hearings on TV. We should be airing all this out with the American people, but that's for another time. We'll talk about, this one is going to center on Donald Trump. Uh, it's going to center on his plan to overturn the election. What that means exactly, I can't tell you exactly what we're, we're going to to see. I can tell you who we're going to hear from, though. Um, we're going to hear from the first police officer who is injured in the assault, who Republicans claim they have blue lives matter, but then they'll try to deny that this is a human being. And as they've ignored the calls of other Capitol uh, Hill police, and some of them have voted to not even give them medals um, for, uh, I talked about it in previous videos, Greg Stubbe Goo. Do, and Marjorie Taylor Greene and others who voted to not give them medals because it's politicized now, whether you thank people that almost died and were stabbed and stomped for their service. Um, there's also going to be a documentary filmmaker who followed the leaders of the extremist Proud Boys, extremists may be too nice, they're fascists, leading up to January 6th, who's going to talk about it. Uh, much of the material committees have said has been seen by the public, but I got to tell you, you, you've seen stuff and then you've seen stuff put into a good combination sort of video audio presentation and hopefully this will be that uh an aide said the challenge to connect the dots to single coherent narrative i don't think that will be hard everything from trying to switch electoral votes to trying to hang mike pence to trying to um deny the outcome of the election to to trying to attack or attacking the capital on a day when the electoral votes would be counted all kind of go together well it'll lead to a simple fact that donald trump couldn't accept that he lost that he got his arse handed to him by the biggest arse kicking since obama you know, won in 08 and had to lie and deny and try to stay in office um they said there, there will be some things never seen by the public but they will show a pattern of behavior and hopefully that will get into all these meetings at the Willard Hotel, the text, the Meadows by Jimmy Thomas, whose husband should be impeached uh, for his knowledge of what she did to attack our democracy. Um, and others, many others, Donald Trump's son, members of the Trump family, numerous members of Congress like Jim Jordan and others, Mike Lee, Senator of Utah, who should be implicated in this. Um, Anything else worth talking about? Obviously, Trump lost by 7 million votes nationally. They're going to talk about that and reinforce the fact that, yeah, he lost as if they should have to do that, um, especially with Donald Trump openly talking about running for the presidency again, which he probably will do, whether he can get the nomination again or whether they'll decide uh, that to move on from Java to to that gnome, that living garden gnome, Mike uh, or Ron DeSantis or one of these other goobers, I guess we'll have to see. Um, but, you know, hey, listen, it's not, it may not be everything we want, but happy first January 6th TV committee day. That was a long, uh, long <laughs> title. Watch tonight, share with your friends, let people know this is important for our democracy. Hey guys, if you like this, please subscribe. We're growing rapidly. Uh, it took us a month to get a thousand subscribers. If we got another thousand in the last week, um, you should uh, subscribe. You should smash that button, as the kids say, for your notifications. You should like, you should comment. I'm sometimes slow with the comments because I've been so busy. I will jump in there and make sure to answer everyone. Uh, and I thank you so much for watching.